So the Nest thermostats have been having some problems with the reversing valve terminal just kind of being bad. Just thermostat is faulty, um, especially the new ones at the time of this filming. A couple things about the Nest thermostat reversing valve settings. There's a thing in there when you get there and it says for you to choose O and B. There's also another option for seasonally and each cycle. I recommend putting it in each cycle, not seasonally. Um, what that does on seasonally is keep the reversing valve energized for the entire uh, season, which I think would probably cause it to get stuck. I think it's good for mechanical things to, you know, go on and off. And each cycle, it will, uh, it will turn it off and on when it needs to be. They leave it on so the homeowner won't hear that swishing sound all the time. But it's really not worth the risk. So put that in each cycle. And having it in seasonally was also causing that terminal not to work. It's just something faulty that uh, Nest, I guess they made a mistake on some of the batches of thermostats. So the second thing is some of the OB terminals are just downright bad. So one way to test that is you have your orange wire on O and you have your yellow wire on Y. What you can do is switch those two wires and turn it on in cooling and go outside. So now your orange wire is on Y and it'll be getting the signal you should have 24 volts out there. And on your Y wire, which is now in the O terminal, should also have 24 volts. If it doesn't, then you're not getting anything coming out of that O terminal. When you switch the wires back and you have yellow on Y and you have orange on O and you put it in cooling, you're gonna get 24 volts on the Y and uh, you should have 24 volts on O. So that's just a quick way to test if the thermostat is putting anything out the O terminal and also to check if the wire is broken. Because uh, when the orange wire is on the O terminal and you turn the thermostat on, it will energize the O terminal and you should have 24 volts outside. Now, if you don't, the thermostat is not sending it, but it could also mean the O wire is broken. But if you switch the terminals and you put the O wire on the Y, then when you um, turn it in cooling, the thermostat's gonna energize that O wire, which is now on Y, and you'll get 24 volts outside, which will prove that the wire is not broken. There's other ways to jump the wires out and so on and so forth. Um, but that's just how I do it. So anyways, long story short, a lot of these Nest thermostats brand new have faulty um, reversing valve terminals. So give them a call. They'll probably send you a new one if it's faulty. All right. Thanks.